Hello, my name is Wade Nomura, and this is Rotary Serving Our Community. I had the opportunity to catch up, as actually literally catch up to our district governor, Sandy Schwartz. She's been all over the place, and I wanted to do a show on her because she's having such an outstanding year. So with that, Sandy, welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. <laughs> For the second time, correct? For the second time. We were well, here a couple years ago. Good, good. Yeah. Um, we still want to hear about you, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, I'm born and raised in Bakersfield. Um, I'm fourth generation, actually, um, and I'm a registered nurse by trade, home health and hospice the last 30 years. Um, I joined Rotary in 1994 um, for my job. I'm typical of what Siegel and Gale said, that you join um, Rotary for your job, but you stay for your family, and it could not be more true. Okay. Um, so I am a proud Rotarian. Good. And tell us about Rotary, how you got involved, and what you're getting out of it. Um, I got it. Our home club, my home club, Bakersfield East, is a boots-on-the-ground community service. I was just Saturday um, in the alleyways doing a, a cleanup and we're hauling mattresses and shoving <laughs> couches over the side of the truck. And, but that's, that's what endeared me to my club because they, they're not just what we call check writers. They actually right. have service projects and reading to kids, third graders. And, you know, I just had a great opportunity and all of a sudden it wasn't for my job. It was for me. Mm -hmm. It was a family I never thought I was going to have. So wow. very proud of them. So tell us, um, now that you're the governor, <laughs> Your, cl your club actually uh, kind of grooms a lot of governors, I would say. You've got I'm number the seven. You're I'm, number seven. I'm number seven. It's been 20 years since the last one. Mm -hmm. um, and it used to be real common that for our district that the governors came out of Kern County. And so in the 60s and 70s, it was almost every two or, no, maybe every three or four years. Okay. But then it dropped off and... Um, Chung Sam Do was the last governor in 98, 99, so it's, it's, it's an honor mm -hmm. to follow him and the first female from our club. So. Wow. Hard to believe it's 20 years since that time. No, <laughs> I, I know. We haven't, grown old. How about Chung we haven't grown old at all, have we? <laughs> no, not at all. So um, was that one of the reasons what drew you into the office? Of governor? Yeah. Um, I had a real... I had a real um, bucket list that I wanted to do it. And I once I got involved at the district level, um, it was, I just really wanted to be um, the district governor. I had a whole set of agenda um, that I wanted to present and bring. And um, I, I think I've done it, um, ever present. Um, you know, the, the, the heart of Rotary is at the club level. True. And what I really wanted to do is take the focus away from the district and turn it to the clubs and just be ever present for my clubs and their presidents and whatever they asked of me, I've done. Sure. Um, and that was pretty much the reason I wanted to be in the governor line. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really been fun. Good. It's really fun. Now, have you received any mentorship from any of those past oh, governors? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I, I, I always so appreciate when the past district governors call or you know one day you corrected me on something in my power <laughs> speech that i really didn't know any different but you did it out of love you didn't do it out of criticism you did it out of love and i i can say that for the past district governors they've all been supportive Great. and not just pdg permanent dinner guests <laughs> they're they're real they're real they're the heart and That's soul good. of our district and Great. beloved so. very nice so tell us, um, well, share with us your experience. And the first experience I'm going to ask you, we'll, we'll start with the, uh, the more tricky side. What were <laughs> one of the points or challenges that you faced this year that you didn't expect as a governor? Oh, gosh, that's a great question. Um, I, think, I think it was a realization that there are some, um, unfortunately, there are some clubs in our district that are um, apathetic um, and not energized. And... The more emphasis and more time I spent with them, um, it was real clear that they didn't want my help. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I had some really good advice from um, RI Director John Matthews to focus on the clubs that wanted your help. Good. And so once I made that decision that some of those clubs just needed to be to themselves and left alone and whatever happens, happens, turning my focus to the clubs that I could really make an influence and difference, We've done that, and and with, you know, our our retention's high, um, our membership is still an issue, but better. Mm -hmm. And then the other focus was on the Rotaract and Interact, our 2030 group and our high schoolers, because I wanted to make sure that they were in the forefront of our introductions, in the forefront of our projects, 
They weren't just there to clean up the trash. They were there actually to learn from us. Right. So the mentorship. Good, good. So how about your rewarding moments? What, one of those things that go, well, I'm sure glad I did this job, all the work, but it was worth it. You really want of... me to cry today, don't you? I'm working on that. <laughs> it's good for viewership. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll try to avoid that. Well, we had, we had a very serious um, criminal case, and I won't go into um, what happened, but there was some embezzlement in one of the clubs. That president could not have been in a better place, and part of the, the focus for me was not to try to... Um, try to change anything or go in and, and chastise the club for letting what happened happen, but to give him the support and the mentorship and the leadership that he needed. And I've gotten more um, comments from him and his club for just being there ever present for them and not trying to empower myself into their dilemma. And they have done a stellar job taking care of this problem. It happens. In all organizations, it happens, but how he handled it was above and beyond yeah. and couldn't have asked for better. Well, I have to admit this being also part of the, the challenge at that point in time. You did an outstanding job. Thank you. The hardest thing is to be able to separate yourself from the issue. You always want to try and fix it, but you were, did an outstanding job Thank of you. keeping just enough support there where they knew you were well, and there. My focus wasn't the club. My focus was him yeah. because he's a great leader yeah. and to not exude my power over anything, I didn't need to. He, I just gave him the <laughs> guidance point. and the support. And he took care of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's true. But it is the club. It is but the club you. that I'm directly right. yeah, I'm associated with. Um, you brought some pictures. Let's, I did. Let's, let's jump into those pictures because you've got a few of them here. <laughs> I did. So, so the fix, first picture I believe we have. A couple of years ago, one of our past, uh, past district governors uh, wrapped her car. And okay. it was all about polio. So I wanted to bring the new Rotary brand mm -hmm. ever present. So on That's the good. side of my car on both is, is a big Rotary <laughs> brand. And I'm telling you, I get more people at Starbucks or wherever I've stopped. And the clubs know when I'm there. Yeah. They come in and they go, oh, she's here, she's here. You know, so it's not just that black SUV. It actually has the Rotary brand. So I've had to be very careful and not cut people off in traffic. <laughs> That's good. Um, never show up, put that car anywhere where it could be suspicious where I'm at. It's always um, good. I did finally, my husband did say, is that going to stay on forever? So we'll see. Good, we'll see. Good. I don't know yet. That's a good answer. Yeah, I don't and know. And how yet. many miles on that car since? Uh... Started at eighty-four thousand. I'm about to turn one hundred and nine thousand. Wow, so wow. To, yeah. You've been busy. I've been busy. Twenty-five thousand. I haven't met your record yet, but I'm close. I'm close. <laughs> you're you're close. You're right there. <laughs> Got a little ways to go. <laughs> good. And then the next picture we have. Oh, uh, okay. that was fun. So that was in Toronto. The international convention last year was in Toronto, and we always do a district social. And one, the one that we were working on kind of fell through. So at the last minute, we partnered with District 5280 down in LA, mm -hmm. and we did what we called the schmooze cruise. <laughs> and it was on this boat and out in the harbor in Toronto, and it could not have been a prettier evening. Agreed. And the sunset was exquisite. And just a chance to collaborate with other Rotarians from other districts, and um, it was it was a great start to a great convention. Yeah, and you had quite a few people. What about three hundred? Oh gosh, people there? I think it was three forty-five. Yeah, I'm I think. thinking it was about that. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. And the next picture we have. Oh, there's oh. the cruise again. <laughs> As everybody was registering, it was it was a great. Evening. Now my guess is that's a before shot because uh, if I recall when we left, you were still standing up on the ship waving goodbye to everybody. Yeah, when we left, <laughs> of course, of, of course, course, of course, it was great. A good picture, and that was a great cruise. You did a great job on Thank that you. one. And it was nice meeting. Great with Great committee of worked on it. It was it was thrown together at the last minute, and it just was perfect. <laughs> great. In the next photo we have. Ah, uh, showing off my car when it finally got. Finally got done, I, I presented it to my club, so they all walked out to see it. So we have to talk about this real quick. Shows you here in the shade. I'm guessing that was a hot day. <laughs> tell, tell us about the climates and the climate differences we have in this district. You know, <laughs> it's been an exceptional year. Obviously, with the rain, I, 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 it's so majestic when everything is green. Um, but we've had our drought, and we've had our... our tragedies, I mean, the fires that we've incurred in the last two years, 
um, but to see this year everything's back green it's you know it's refreshing it, we and the wildflowers right now are incredible but um yeah i mean obviously from bakersfield in july i'm going to find any shade i can <laughs> for <true>. the picture <laughs> <laughs> i gotta tell you a story about what happened to me the hottest club i went to literally was china lake <laughs> It was 117. Uh -huh. Of course, it went back in the winter time, and the only time I almost slipped and fell on ice was China Lake. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get me one way or another. Well, they don't let us come anymore in the summer. They defer us off until the fall <laughs> so idea. they can do a social, and it's a nice, cool evening. So, nice. yeah, but you're right. China Lake's hot. <laughs> it is. It was part of my territory when I was in home health. Oh, yeah. there you go. <laughs> okay, the next picture we have is a picture of... Uh, well, this was okay. um, part of our um, district conference. I did a zero K pajama run, all the fun <laughs> without the run. And <laughs> part good. of the um, goodie bag that we had, everybody got a magnet for their car that said 0.0. .0. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, they fall off in the car wash. So I haven't seen mine um, fell off in the car wash and I, I, I just haven't put on the replacement. But that, mm -hmm. that was really a lot of fun and, and it was a great morning. Clever idea. Now whose idea was that? Was that yours? It was actually the Rotaract Club of Bakersfield okay. with a little bit of prompting and um, at a Rotary convention in a breakout session it was one oh. of the things that were, were mentioned. So I brought it forward and the Rotaract Club did a great job. Great. So the next picture we have. Oh, <laughs> you know that's the Solvang 4th of July parade, mm -hmm. and it's an inaugural parade for the district governor. Every year, um, the mm -hmm. Solvang clubs do a great job. Santa Inez and Buellton and Los Olivos, they all have floats. But this year, I happen to be on the Solvang club with President Larry Edwards and his wife Janice. Nice. And six or seven deep down the main street in Solvang, it's a well-attended parade. It, it is. Yeah. It's a great way to start your year off. <laughs> Good. Yeah, we just got a, a regular convertible, so that was kind of <laughs> neat. You got the real deal. Yeah, there. <laughs> that's a blow-up rotary symbol. <laughs> oh, oh, she's my companion. That's Sequoia. So, for those in the audience that don't know, I'm six foot one. So, my underlying motto this year has been "Stand Tall," which then lent to the Sequoia trees, which then yeah. lent to having a bear. She's got all of my rotary pins on, and her name is Sequoia. And she's traveled for the most part. She's traveled. Um, everywhere I've been, and nice. she's kind of my symbol um, this year. So, yeah, that's Sequoia. Very nice. That's a good one. Uh -huh. We were just there yesterday. This is Rancho El Choro. It's the science camp for San Luis Obispo County, which is in our district. And, um, it, and it, it was a kind of a dilapidated, need a lot of love and attention kind of camp for the science projects all over San Luis Obispo County for the kids to come to. So the Rotary Clubs of Los Osos, Morro Bay, Morro Bay Sunset, Cayucas um, went together. I think the Paso Robles Clubs as well. And they um, bought these yurts. They're a replacement for typical wood cabins. And they, they can house like, um, I think 20, um, bunk beds, and they also have several of them that are in classroom, um, but it kind of phase out the old cabins, the wood cabins that they had. They're using these yurts. Um, I never seen one before, so this was actually a ribbon cutting on one of the yurts, um, and that those are all the Rotarians that showed up that day. It was great. Very nice. Next picture we have is. Well, I'm all about. <coughs> Community service. So this was actually the Cambria Club does a roadside cleanup um, every fourth Tuesday or Saturday. Anyway, um, that's me participating with them along Highway One. It was just after Highway One was reopened mm -hmm. um, after the bridge damage up um, by Big Sur. Anyway, um, it was a lot of fun, and we cleaned up a ton of trash that day. It was crazy. <laughs> that is good. Now, is it all day? Mostly? It, um, um, I think like 7 to noon, and then obviously Rotarians like to eat, so <laughs> <laughs> there was a barbecue afterwards. Oh, it nice. was fun. Nice. It was fun. Very nice. <clears throat> that is the Rotaract and Interact um, community project in um, San Luis Obispo with the Passport Club. They have a community garden. Um, for the neighbors, people in the community to grow plants. So we were just in there doing some weeding and putting down some new hummus for the year. So that was the project. And all the interactors uh, clubs from the district as well as some 
uh, I mean Rotaract Clubs and Interact Clubs came that day, so it was another hands-on project. <laughs> I love to get dirt, dirty in the dirt. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> this was our award this year um, because the motto from Rotary is People of Action, the signature now. Um, I let the presidents choose two or three people out of their club that did above and beyond. Um, and so they were given People of Action awards. So this just happens to be a picture of one of those awards. Oh. And they got a pin as well. You know, Rotarians were all about the pins oh, and the bling. The pins, yeah. For sure. <laughs> so Lee Carroll, um, worthy, he's my, worthy choice. Yeah, he's my assistant <clears throat> governor in Group 12. And that's the presidents got to choose, but they made a good choice with Lee. Got it. This actually oh, is in your territory. Right. You've talked about this before. This was a Habitat for Humanity project with the Rotaract Club of Santa Barbara. And I came over and we worked, um, did siding that day and insulation. And um, that's the president. You've had him on your show, Boris Gradovsky mm -hmm. right. and the crew. We just had a really great day out there um, with the three families who were going to get yeah. to inhabit those houses. That's right. They work hand in hand with you on those. Yeah, shows. they do. It's a great project. They do. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, there you there's go. Chung Sam. So this is last year. We have sister districts, um, and the, we actually have two in South Korea. And one of our sister districts grew so large, Rotary split them in two. So we kept them both. Then we have a sister district in uh, Mexico. But Chung Sam Do is past district governor, pictured with me, and he was president of, of my club when I came into Rotary and became a past district governor. And he heads up the crew to go to Korea. We, we go to each other's district conferences. So always a lot of fun. And he's just a, he's just a blessing to this district and, and he, to Rotary. And he's the district uh, governor from previous to you then, from your yeah, club. Yeah, 20 years. Yeah. yeah. Great. Great guy. Oh, gosh. This was the social um, that the, when the sister districts came, we quartered them around, and this happens to be in the backyard of past district governor Frank Ortiz's um, house, and we had dinner and mariachis from the high school, mm -hmm. a project that this club um, helps support, and so that was just a really great evening. <laughs> Good one. Yeah. There they are. So the guy on the, um, Governor Nam, who's kind of by himself, and his wife Cho that's standing up in the back, um, district governor from 3721 South Korea. And then the guy in the middle on the other side is Governor um, Nam, and he is from 3722. And the little gal in the back, seated with the glasses, <laughs> that's Sarah. She's our interpreter. So she actually was one of our ambassadorial scholars that went to school at Cal Poly, came from South Korea, and met up with um, past district governor Chung Sam. And they've kept in a relationship. And so now she teaches ESL in Korea. And she's also um, an interpreter for dignitaries that come. So she, she's ours. She does a great job, by but the way. But a product of Rotary. Wow. Product of go. Rotary. Good. And there they are. <laughs> that was our sister district from Mexico and Korea. And we were at a Basque restaurant in Bakersfield. Um, it was a really fun evening. <laughs> so they, when we go to Korea, all of the women, um, last year they presented me with my humbuk, which is the traditional Korean dress, and they, they, were, they were so surprised how tall I was, they had to get another <laughs> bolt of cloth. But when they came to um, my town, Bakersfield, I took all of the, my classmates to Boot Barn and I outfitted them in cowboy wear that they had to take home. And I've gotten several pictures from South Korea since with them with their cowboy really? hats on. Oh, that's yeah. great. So they've worn it. There they are. They're great nice. guys. Fun. <laughs> this was the Zero K pajama run. So before the district conference, everybody met out in the foyer of the hotel. Donuts, coffee, bib numbers, and <laughs> the gun went off. We walked 500 feet, and we were done. <laughs> they all Good. got their swag bag with their magnet in it. It was fun. Perfect. And this was the Interact and Rotaract District Conference that was concurrent to our conference that day. 
the man on the next to me with the white hair, don't tell him I said that, <laughs> is our RI director, John Matthews, and he's my boss. So he's over zones 25 and 26. I could not have picked a better boss. Great guy. There he is. Mm -hmm. And the interactors and rotoractors signed t-shirts for us. Um, so great day. Now, do you remember how many people that were actually there at that part of the conference? Because it was a big one. Then there were probably a hundred interactors and probably yeah. twenty-five uh, rotoractors there. Yeah. Great. It was it, it was yeah, and probably I don't know, probably more. Okay. It's been since October. Nice. There I am in my Hambach. Oh, there that you was go. at the Foundation Gala <clears throat> that night. Mm -hmm. um, so they all dressed up. They didn't. I didn't make them wear their cowboy wear to the foundation gala. They are wearing the class tie, though. Yes, so I they see are. That. <laughs> yes, they are. In uniform. These were our speakers um, for the day at the district conference. The lady with the glasses on her top of her head is Nita Bales. She wrote a book, um, "Trafficking in My Backyard." And um, our focus in the morning of the district conference was on human trafficking. We have a huge problem in our district because of the I-5 corridor in the 101. Um, and so we focused, we brought together community leaders, Dan Dow, who's the DA up in San Luis Obispo, Nita, Deepa Willingham, who's the past district governor, um, the Indian lady next to Steve. She um, runs a school in Piali, India for girls to help prevent trafficking in, in that town and giving them an education and a different way of life. And then the guy in the middle is Steve Solomon. He's our major gifts person from Rotary International and he's assigned to our districts and does a really great job and um, great resource for all of us. And um, he and the, three, uh, the two ladies, they had a great day presenting um, to the district conference. Great. Yeah, and then John Matthews' wife is, is with us, Mary Ellen. Um, she's just a great lady. So it's just more pictures. Yeah, I had time at the podium. <laughs> <laughs> and so to start the day, we always do an annual business meeting. This is me trying to make that as short as possible. <laughs> um, and we had, we had very good compliance, and it was a short meeting so we could get on with the fun of the day. Good. Okay, so I am um, a former runner until I have knee issues. So now I have a Peloton, no, no commercial break for Peloton, but it's a stationary bike in my house. And on Poli World Polio Day, October 23rd every year, I do 100 miles on my Peloton. I call it the annual ride to nowhere because literally I'm in my patio <laughs> running or biking 100 miles. There's me proving to wow, the world that I did go. it. <laughs> and um, I raised last year, um, the year before last, I raised twelve thousand dollars for Polio Plus. This year it was eighteen. So with the two to one Gates match, it's right up there. So really good, good time. Yeah, good. Well, good pictures you had there. Thank you. you. Enjoyed all Thank of those. You. Gives you a pretty good perspective on how the year's been going for you. Now, did you expect yourself to be this busy when you? I I, I was very fortunate to be the chief of staff for past district governor Jim Bell. And I knew his schedule. I've also I was also watched you your year, and it was it was a purposeful effort to be as busy as possible because you only have a year to make a difference. Sure. You only have a year, and then you turn everything over to the next leader. So, if I didn't want to stay home, I wanted to be out there <laughs> and be a part of this. And um, oh, uh, there you aww. go, one more picture there. Yeah, this is my official visit to the Passport Club. Nice. Um, I always, my inspirational moment came from the Bathroom Reader. It's a great periodical if you've <laughs> never read it. Um, so uh, this is me reading to them from the Bathroom Reader. It's <laughs> great. That is good. That is good. With the, uh, the year of the success that you've had, what would you attribute most of that to? Was it preparation? Was it your, your passion to make a difference for the clubs? Yeah, I really, I... I really made it a full-time job. Um, I think you can do this work and be and work full-time. I really think you can do that, but I was real fortunate not to have to do that. Um, key to success is a very nice husband who's, who keeps the home fires burning. Um, and had, oh, there's the Rose Parade. Okay, <laughs> there you uh, go. There you go. Uh, but I think it's really, I mean, I made it 
a concerted effort, but I made it fun, and I wanted to. I wanted to do it. Like the picture shows there. Yeah. Nothing but fun right there. Oh, nothing but fun right there. <laughs> that's that's just a great project, um, and we raised so much awareness for Rotary, and those that 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 parade is phenomenal. Those people are eight and nine people deep, and as you're riding on the float down Colorado Boulevard, you hear. Out of the crowd, you hear, thank you for my dictionary, wow. or yes. I, I went to Ryla. You hear people kind of reminiscing with you all of the good things that Rotary does. So, yeah, that's, that was fun. <laughs> I hear you're involved with that next year. Yeah, I'm the chair. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so send me the bill. <laughs> yeah, I will. No plug. Um, that was... Um, I, yeah, it looks ooh, like, where we are. I no, it looks like uh, San, Santa Maria. Could have been. Yeah, could have been. Yeah. This is, oh, this is when we chartered the Rotaract Club of Santa Barbara nice. right here in your home nice. turf. So mm -hmm. University of um, US, UCSB. Mm -hmm. um, there are ninth and then um, San Luis Obispo, or Paso Robles, sorry, right. is our 10th. And that's the leadership line. He's, um, Greg Yank is the RI director. He's John's. Um, compadre and our, they were our uh, presenters at a multi-year conference. The lady next to him was Elizabeth from Kansas City. And then if you notice the governor line for the next four years, mm -hmm. my year included, are all women. Wow. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> We've only been in Rotary 30 years, but I think we're here to stay. <laughs> the lady in the middle of the blue suit and the white um, scarf is Sylvia Whitlock. She is the first woman president of uh, Rotary Club President, and she, um, that whole thing went to the Supreme Court to allow women in Rotary, so she's always a great speaker. She's cherished and, and all around. Sounds good. Well, thank you for sharing all those pictures. It's you're an amazing welcome. journey. You're Enjoyed welcome. every minute of it. I Unfortunately, am. you're not done yet. You still got a few more months to go. 82 more days. <laughs> 82 more days. <laughs> so you're looking forward to that one. Absolutely. Well, Sandy, thank you very much for joining oh, us. Oh, wait, thanks for having Definitely me. Definitely appreciate it. Anytime. Thank you. And for all you're doing. Thank Anytime. you very much. Anytime. You're welcome. With that, everybody, thank you very much for joining us, and we will see you next time. <laughs>